So to keep this video as productive and as valuable as possible, I'm leaving this clip that I'm grading today in the description so you can follow along the process. And I'm also giving you guys a free conversion LUT that will convert your S-Log3 footage from S-Log3 to as close as you can get to a RV look. With that being said, my name is Christian. Thank you for tuning in. Let's go. All right, so these are the clips that we're working with today, and these are the clips that are available for you to download. Link in the description below. The first thing you wanna make sure of when you're grading S-Log footage is to bring back the right amount of saturation, contrast, and so on. And to do that, we go in here to the effects, right in LUT, so you find the LUT box really fast, drag this onto your clip, and then you will get this custom LUT box over here, which allows you to slap on any LUT that you want to your footage, including finishing LUTs and technical LUTs. Here is the one from Sony. This is a beautiful looking LUT that brings the right amount of contrast and saturation according to Sony. So this is pretty reliable, and it makes the workflow really, really easy. So I highly recommend to download this LUT for free free I will leave a link to that in the description below and pay attention to something here guys you can see here it's s log gamut 3 cine which is the color space that this specific LUT is optimized for and that is the default color space in picture profile 8 which is my favorite picture profile and Sony cameras this is the s log to Ari conversion LUT that I made and also optimized for s gamut 3 cine the next thing you want to do after applying this LUT is to make sure that all the correction that you're doing to this clip is added before the LUT and not after the LUT. So you don't want to have the curves under here because then you are basically changing the values of the LUT and not the clip itself. So bring this up here and now that the LUT is applied and we went from this to this, we can go on to the second step of this color grading process, which is adding curves. Drag the highlights a little bit down and the midtones, I drag it a little bit up, drag the shadows down to create a little bit of contrast. So this is what we have after doing these changes. So the next step of this process is to actually add hue and saturation curves. I have it here already, but I'll actually reset just to show you guys how it works. So I'll add one control point there and one control point there. And what I'm basically doing here is changing the hue of this blue color by dragging it a little bit up here so it goes from dark blue to more teal, right? And I like that better. Let's see the difference. Yeah, perfect. The next thing I do is to add a similar control point down here in the saturation, which basically means that I'm desaturating this exact same color. So I'll drag this a little bit down like so. And then I'll add one more control point in this side because um, it was a sunny day, so there's a lot of yellows in here that I wanna get rid of. You don't see it that clearly right now, but let me show you the before and after after we apply this effect. So we put one control point there and one here, and then we drag the saturation down quite a bit like this. And the last thing I wanna do is to play with the Lumas of the blues. And I add control points here and there exactly as this one. And uh, I'll drag this a little bit down, just a little bit, not too much. And let's see what we got. So this is the before, after, before, and after. Looking really good already. It's not a big change, but it's a subtle change that will really uh, make the difference in the end. So the next thing we do is to add a color wheel. So what we're doing here is dragging this knot a little bit up here following the line but maybe a little bit to the left of the line that will give you magenta reddish tones that i really love i wish that you know uh, final cut had had more precise ways of you know showing this but yeah that that's how that works play a little bit with this head a little bit straight up here and then to the left you'll get this look uh, and with the highlights though follow this line right and drag it a little bit to the left side of this. So downwards to the green side. Then you add a little bit of saturation and boom. This is before and after, before and after applying these changes. And then you can go in here, right in, sharpen, drag this on over to the clip. And this is too much, so I'll just leave it at two. And that is basically it. This clip is now color graded and corrected to my taste. Before, after, before and after. All right, so now that this clip is color graded, we can start applying these grades on the other clips. 
So what you want to do then is copy the attributes by pressing Command C on this clip and then make sure to have this clip selected and then paste the attributes. Uncheck the retiming because we don't want that. Just paste the attributes. As you can see here, but this is warmer than this clip. To fix that, I'll just add a little bit more of that warmth magenta look in the shadows like this. This is brighter, so I want to drag the overall exposure a little bit down like this. I could actually add a little bit more saturation in this clip like this. So the next thing is to then copy the attributes from this clip onto this clip. Make sure to check off the retiming, paste, and as you can see, this is a little bit brighter. Go in here and reset the luma. Drag this a little bit down like this. Boom and you know drag the highlights a little bit up to give the whites here a little bit of a pop and then this a little bit down with the shadows it's a little bit further down like so yeah perfect so let me show you guys how this looks with and without the grade i'll just go in here delete all the effects drag this back here and back there and let's roll All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was interesting or helpful in any way. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll answer you guys as soon as possible. And if you like this video though, I would appreciate it if you gave it a like. Uh, that will help the algorithm and that will help me as well. So um, yeah, um, thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Peace.